Hello everyone. Welcome to the lab. Lab 5 to part 2. So, in this uh, you will see how triple DES encryption algorithm is used to encrypt a file content in Python using Python programming. So, we have a file and that file has some text for example so when you go to the terminal you will enter uh, the root or sometimes the user so you should create a folder okay already in the first lab i have shown how to create a folder if uh, you haven't seen that you can see again make directory demo 2 okay cd make directory sorry cd demo 2 so this is how you can navigate into the folder now when you type pwd present working directory you are in demo 2 folder okay so this, this is a com concept if you want to come out cd space dot dot pwd you are in root uh, already i have created uh, a folder the name of the folder is uh, cd my python so i have some uh, files here i remove them first of all you need not do because already i have done this so i just remove these files so now <coughs> excuse me So we have uh, actually this is a python program which i am explaining through this uh, word document okay after that uh, i uh, you know let me execute this program but to execute this program you need a file input file so this input file cat test dot txt if i type sorry spelling mistake test dot txt uh, it has a content i am living in oman okay so how to create this file uh, first of all let me show you rm test so now you can see uh, we just have the python program we don't have any other program so how to uh, create this file nano or uh, you can say we can use the leaf pad just uh, already a file is open so what you do right click new window okay so here you can type oman is a beautiful country so you can type this text save us so go to the root in the root my folder is uh, my python so here you uh, save the file let's say the file is uh, uh, test dot txt so this is a file be careful whatever the file name you have mentioned uh, in the program so that should be the file name so okay so if you want to give some other file name then you should change the file name also in the program so 
I give test.txt. So this file is saved. Now let us check ls. So this file is saved. So when I type cat test dot txt, it's print it's it's printing in the uh, terminal. Okay. So we have two programs here. So the basically you need a Python program, which I am uh, explaining, as well as you need a input text file. Okay, test.txt. In that uh, you should have some plain text. Okay. So the idea of this program is this. Okay, uh, there are some. There is a file. Okay, in the file you have some data. So this is the data. Uh, so what we have to do is what we are going to do is just going to encrypt this data just encrypt this data and save the encrypted data in a new file okay take the data from this file encrypt and save the encrypted data that is cipher text in a new file okay so that's the idea of this program and again from the uh, you know uh, uh, encrypted file we take the data again we read the cipher text and then again we convert into plain text so encryption a uh, plain text to cipher text and then cipher text to plain text so everything we are going to deal uh, is uh, through the file so we are going to put the data in the file and from the file we read uh, the data as an input so what algorithm we are going to use powerful algorithm triple des so import triple des des3 from this package so this object and you know in the previous program you have learned base 64 encoding uh, 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 this uh, thing okay so we have a encoder method in this base 64 object so uh, for encryption we create a method here actually this is a method try to understand uh, rather uh, memorizing these things just try to understand you need not memorize anything okay please try to understand the concepts so this is a method actually so encrypt the file is a method so this method would accept key as the argument you know for any encryption or decryption you need key right so for example this program uh, we have the key this is the key for encryption as well as decryption okay so that would be passed as an argument into this method okay key then input file name so if from which file name okay the data has to be read and uh, the plain text has to be converted into the cipher text so here test.txt is the file name okay so input file name then um, please understand uh, from this file from this file take the data uh, encrypt and uh, store the encrypted data into another file so you have to specify the output file also but here we don't we are we say that none output file is equal to none that means we are not going to give any uh, output file so the method will automatically calculate the output file from the input file just whatever the input file with that it would add a dot enc okay so for example here this is the input file text dot txt right so the output file would be like this test dot txt dot enc that would be the output file test.txt.enc that would be the output file <coughs> okay then the encryption algorithm uh, from okay so from the file when you read the data uh, it, it is going to come as a block okay so it should be multiples of 60, 16 okay it should be multiple of 16 okay so that is why we uh, use a size so this is the default thing which you have to use for encryption as well as decryption so 
junk science is equal to 16 into 1024 so whatever values you have it should be multiples of 16 so 1024 is the block size okay suppose you can say uh, like you have some data and uh, so this data is not uh, multiples of 16 so what you do you have to do something called padding you have to add some spaces so that uh, the size becomes multiples of 16 okay so here whatever in the green color explains this uh, uh, you know argument which is passed on into this uh, encryption algorithm key input file output file and junk size so this is actually uh, within comments so that means it would not be executed it is just a comment it's a description uh, okay that uh, explains the component of the program to any user so here we say if the output file name is none of course here the output file name is none we don't have any file name we will not give any file name okay let me tell you where this file where this method is exactly called this method is called here encrypt give the key input file name so here we don't give any output file name we give the junk size okay so if the output file name is uh, empty if not output file name then output file name is equal to input file name whatever the input file name okay just add dot enc to that input file name dot enc to the input file name so here in this program the input file is test.txt so the output file name will be test.txt dot enc okay so this is uh, then initialization vector we need okay so we need a object os okay in that we have a u random method so in the previous program we used another method so in this method in in this uh, uh, program we use this object os so in that we generate u random okay of 8 bytes then what we do is uh, so so far what we have done this is the encryption method so it will accept the key file name input file name the output file name is not specified then junk size why because the data should be multiples of 16 okay so from the input file name we calculate the output file name then we initialize we calculate the initialization vector value that is important for the encryption okay so you can see here is important for the encryption initialization vector goes as an input then what we do is we open the input file that is test.txt is the input file right so we open with open input file okay in read format okay then we open the output file in write format because from the input file we are going to read the data what is the data this is the data which we have inside the file so we open this file test.txt through this python program in read format uh, read mode okay oh, and so that we can read this data plain text and we create another file output file okay where we are creating we are creating the output file here okay now we are opening that file in write mode so that after encryption the encrypted data should be written in the output file okay then first what we do in the output file first we write the initialization uh, initialization vector value iv value which we are calculating it is just a random value why we this initialization vector has to be written in the output file because uh, when the, now what we are doing is just reading the plain text from the input file uh, we are doing encryption okay and then we are going to write the encrypted value into the output file right then again when we want to decrypt we have to read the 
cipher text from the output file then we have to decrypt and uh, show the plain text so to do the decryption once again we need the initialization vector so what we do uh, we put the initialization vector in the output file in the beginning this will be the first set of characters initialization vector so um, when we do the decryption we need not search the IV value without IV we cannot decrypt okay so the IV value also stored in the output file now what we do is uh, here uh, we put a while loop infinite while loop okay and uh, read the data from the input file in file we read the data from the in file in file okay you can see in file is the object okay uh, in that we have a read method we read the data okay and the data uh, the size actually uh, junk size means uh, it should be read in this size 16 in 2024 okay so you a file you just imagine a file lots of data huge amount of data can be there here as far as my example is concerned just I have a one line of text but just imagine a file can have you know many pages lot of data but we cannot read all the data um, in a single stretch so we specify a size every time you read this much amount of data junk size so what is the junk size 16 into 1024 okay now um, if the length of the junk when you read there is no more data like for example my case just one line of uh, you know text I have um, so uh, you know when you keep on reading the data from the file so you have read all the data then the length would become zero if the junk value becomes zero that means you have no more data in the file already you have read all the data so you have to break you come out of the while loop else if you have some data then what you do you know you have to read the data in multiples of 16 so uh, find the length of the data okay uh, <coughs> whether it is multiple of 16 suppose if it is not multiple of 16 that's why we, you do this modulus operator okay um, do modulus you get the baki remainder if the remainder is not zero then what you do you add some spaces so this logic what is given here please don't get confused so we just add some characters how many characters such that okay the junk uh, what you read it becomes multiples of 16 multiples of 16 characters okay now what you do is actually um, you encryptor is the object in that you have encrypt method so we have read all the data from the input file and all the data is in the object junk so this junk has all the data so this junk we give us a, a argument to encrypt method this encrypt method is in the object encryptor so what it does it would encrypt the junk data what uh, junk means all the data from this uh, this is the data no this is the data which we have read from the input file so it is a junk now so that is passed on uh, passed as argument to the encrypt method so which is in the object encryptor that would return the cipher text now encrypted value would be uh, returned and that encrypted value would be returned in the output file so please output file write whatever encryption uh, happens to the junk data okay now what we do is again we do this uh, encryption with the junk data and store that in this uh, object junk b okay uh, or in the variable you can say okay uh, then what you what happens is we convert that into base 64 format so uh, take this chunk d okay and pass that as argument to base 64 encoder 
which is in the base64 object and decode that and store that in the variable junk t okay so you print that here so here students so far what has happened um, the data is read from the input file and stored in the uh, variable called junk and that uh, junk is passed as an argument to the encrypt method and uh, the encryption encrypted value is written into the output file again you do the encryption same value only you would get but you store that in a variable called junk d then pass that as an argument into the encoder of uh, method b b b 64 encode method okay and call the decode uh, sorry b64 uh, object and call the decode method now what we are going to do is decryption so decryption would accept the method would accept the key as the argument input file name output file name and junk size open the input file okay uh, so here please understand the input file is not this file now so this is not the input file why because the input file is uh, here is the file which stores the encrypted data so here decrypt method this is the input file test.txt.n so this is the uh, file which stores the encrypted data okay so it opens the file which stores the encrypted data in read format okay then it first reads the first eight bytes and that first eight bytes is the initialization vector then uh, uh, in the ds3 uh, object the new method okay um, using this new method we pass the key as argument then we pass a mode here you can see this is cbc mode here we use cbc mode okay then we use the initialization vector okay then we open the output file then we read the data from the input file so again let me repeat here the input file is the file which stores the encrypted data ciphertext example this file this file please not this file clear this file so read the data from the input file okay then um, that is stored into the variable junk and then junk goes as an argument into the decrypt method in the decryptor object and then uh, what you get is the plain text again and that plain text is again written into another file this file test dec that is uh, cipher text is again converted into uh, it is decrypted and stored uh, as a plain text in this file okay please understand this file is the input file original input file so here you give the plain text example i am living in oman you read the data encrypt and store the result encrypted result in this file test.txt dot enc so this file has the encrypted data now once again you read the encrypted data from this file and do the decryption and store the plain text again into the test dec dot txt so this file data and this file data would be same both they have the plain text so plain text to cipher text and then cipher text to plain text okay now this is a place where you uh, assign the key value then you call the encrypt method you call the decrypt method okay so now uh, the entire program is here i have already typed okay so this program let me open this program So this is a program so 
so I, I shall compile the program now just check you have only one um, text file other than the python program that is test.txt okay so now python okay so demo2.python now you can see when the program runs it is printing the key value you can see it is printing the key value here so the key value is printed here key value is printed then it is printing the initialization vector here you can go here the initialization vector is printed here initialization vector is printed here then encoded now what happens the plain text or whatever in the file example i am living in oman is a plain text as far as our example is concerned oh no oman is a beautiful country is the ex, uh, is the plain text in the input file okay so that would be and that would be encrypted please understand the, for the encryption also uh, you know the ds3 dot new method we have to give the key mode actually this program we use cbc mode uh, last program we saw cfb mode okay so encryption is done so after the encryption so we are printing the cipher text encoded cipher text so you can see encoded cipher text here so this is a uh, oman is a beautiful country is the plain text for that plain text this is the uh, encrypted value cipher text so after uh, you know encryption we print done here okay then we call a decrypt method so decrypt method is executed so in the decrypt method what happens the value is uh, decrypted okay so uh, whatever uh, so let us see after the encryption what happens after the encryption you see after the encryption uh, initially we had only this file right so after the encryption uh, this file is created sorry this file is created so this file actually has the encrypted value test.txt I can print this test dot txt dot enc so this is the encrypted value okay so you can see this here test dot txt so this file has the encrypted value okay then after the decryption okay this file is created okay so what this file would have what this file would have this is the plain text from the plain text we got the cipher text from cipher text again we get the plain text so this file also would have the plain text so the contents of this file as well as this file would be same okay uh, let me print that value catch test dc dot txt you can see oman is a beautiful country and also let us print cat test dot txt oman is a beautiful country so you can see the plain text so the logic is this so this is the plain text it is converted into cipher text in and stored in this file then from as a, uh, you know from this file cipher text is uh, read and decrypted and stored as plain text again in this uh, third file so this is how you have to do uh, uh, the program you have to understand this program and do uh, this program okay uh, if you have any doubt you can uh, contact me thank you very much